Hey, welcome everybody. This is uh, another video with me swapping a Linux distro. This time I'm using Garuda Linux with a Cinnamon desktop. Now, the more sharp eye among you may be thinking, hey, Sansi, this looks almost exactly like your previous install with uh, Linux Mint, except for the wallpaper. And you'd be right, it is. I like my Cinnamon desktop a certain kind of way, and I uh, changed this to look that same way. Um, I do have a video on how to do that, and I will link that below if anybody's interested. Uh, let's see. So just to prove that it is Garuda Linux, here you go. Garuda Linux, Cinnamon desktop. And it uses the ButterFS uh, file system and also uses the, uh, it is Arch-based Linux. Uh, this is an Arch-based Linux. Um, it does use the uh, Calamares installer, which is a fairly standard installer. Here it is here. Now these are just photos because I didn't have a, I don't have a screen capture card. Um, and this was installed on my real laptop, so it's not a VM. I, one thing I noticed, which is weird, the the text here where it says the system is not plugged in and the system is not connected, it was black text on a dark gray background, which actually looks better in the photo than it did in real life. I, could, I couldn't really see it. I had to kind of manhandle the laptop screen around to see it. Really strange. I didn't understand that. Anyway... Uh, it is a standard, uh, you know, Calamari's installer, just with the Garuda branding. So it's very straightforward to use. Um, it steps you through everything, just as you would expect, with no surprises. Gives you a nice summary before it installs. And then, all done. It took about 10 minutes, maybe, maybe not 10 minutes, uh, 5 to 10 minutes. So fairly typical for most Linux installs. You'll notice the, the rather striking wallpaper here, which I actually kind of rather quickly got rid of because it was a, it was a little much. Um, I mean, it's nice, but it was just a little, a little, a little too much. So this is the, uh, the screen you get when you first boot up. It guides you through doing updates. So your system is up to date. All your stuff is current. And then you get to the, uh, the Garuda welcome screen, which is really nice. I like the welcome screens. Uh, more distros are starting to do that, and it just gives you a nice place to gather everything in one one spot to work on it. A couple of things I noticed about this um, distro is that, and I had actually used the uh, a different version of Garuda before, the Dragonized version, which I'll show you in a second. Um, well, let me show you now, in fact. So this would be the dragonized version here. I have used this one before, but maybe a year and a half ago. And it's very striking. You can see it's got wonderful icons and stuff on it. Uh, and I used it for a while. It was, it was great. It was a little much on the eyes, but it was it worked fine. Now, this is the GNOME version here, which I have not got. And this is the Garuda Cinnamon version, which is what I'm actually using. So that's that. Um, and one thing, as I said, I noticed a couple of things I noticed about this was that the uh, window controls are on the left side, as it would be with a Mac. That used to bother me, but now that I actually am kind of using a MacBook Air fairly regularly these days, um, and I've talked about that before in another video, uh, this doesn't bother me as much as it used to. The other thing was this does not come with an office suite, strangely enough. I I know most distros do have some kind of office suite on them, unless it's a you know a stripped down thing like uh, uh, Vanilla Arch or something like that, where you would install everything yourself. Uh, this one does not have anything. I did install um, LibreOffice. And um, the other thing was it comes with the Fire Dragon web browser which I hadn't really used before, and it's kind of like Vivaldi. In fact, it says here, Fire Dragon is a browser based on the excellent Flurp browser, which is a great name, also called the Vivaldi of Firefoxes. 
And it, as I said, it did seem kind of like Vivaldi, which was a, a little adult for me. I'm not quite up to the Vivaldi speed. It's a little much. So I rather quickly installed uh, Brave, which is my you know, browser of choice. So I did, uh, the install went fine. Everything works. Uh, everything was detected, audio, video, microphones, all that kind of good stuff. I did get the um, my Brave browser installed. I got Audacity, LibreOffice, Remino for to connect to my Windows boxes, VLC Media Player, Kaden Live, and OBS Studio. That's what I'm using to record this with. Um, it does come with a fairly good selection of software anyway, as you can see here. Um, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. But... Um, I did use, I did install my own stuff that I needed. One thing I did notice too is on, and I, I don't know if I'd just forgotten this with Arch Systems, the updates were pretty quick. Um, I know Ubuntu has gotten, Ubuntu based systems have gotten a lot better with update speed and just applying them. The, my experience with Fedora is it's always been really slow. It's almost like using Windows. I mean, it's like painfully slow updates. But this was this was great. So what I'm intending to do with this, I'll use this for at least another few weeks. I'm waiting for the new version of uh, Pop OS to come out with the um, Cosmic Desktop, the final version of the Cosmic, the new Cosmic Desktop. I'd like to try. I'd like to install that. I, I had Pop OS before, and I like it a lot. So I'd like to try the new one. But this is great right now. It's working fine. Um, if anybody wants to try an Arch-based distro, uh, I have tried Manjaro, be Manjaro before, and that was fine. As I said, I also did the uh, dragonized version of, of this before, and it was it was also good. This has been great. I've been running for a few days, no issues. And it seems snappy. It's responsive. Uh, good stuff. Hey, so just a quick addendum to the video. A couple of things I forgot. One is that uh, Garuda Linux uses Chaotic AUR, which is a repository uh, for the software. And also, it does not come with a, um, a GUI for the package manager. It uses Pac-Man. So it's not kind of a beginner distro particularly. Not that I'm any kind of Linux expert, but... Um, you have to use Pac-Man to uh, from the command line to get software. I did install Octopi, which is a sort of front end for Pac-Man, which allows it to uh, allowed me to install software a little more easily. That was the two things I think I forgot to mention. Oh, and also I believe uh, Garuda is based in India, which is kind of interesting. That's it.